Yeah, peace to God. I love myself a tomb. All my yard is my protector. I'm a, a tomb. All my yard is my protector. So I'm gonna clean this planet up. Open your eyes so I can see. Got your all in check. Remember God. Remember God one. You feel me? In my soul, my spirit, my heart, and mind. Find the light within me. Find the God within me. Shout out to the kings and queens, or the gods and goddesses out here. You on down the tomb with your higher self. You feel me? No weapon form against me will prosper. You go against me, you're going to get yourself. And the universe will make you suffer for you're going to get yourself. Peace of the gods, I love myself. Three is free. Peace of the gods, I love myself. Like I said, you feel me? This is another video right here. I'm coming to y'all about. This is another video I'm coming to y'all about right here. I'm coming to y'all with another video. Okay. And this video right here, I'm basically telling y'all this. That you is greater than what you actually think you are. You is greater than what you actually think that you are. This world has created problems for you. You don't have no problems. It's nothing wrong with you. We look down on the criminals. The world put them in cages and don't understand the psychological mental mental problem that they are going through. They need psychological help. But the world ain't going to give them that. Therapy ain't going to work. We need psychological help. We, our bodies need to be connected with the planet. We need to be in tune with nature. We need to be in tune with the elements. We need to be growing natural organic food. We need to be eating real organic food. Not all this GMO food. All this junk food. Because the only thing that shit is doing is hijacking our brain. Our neurons. And messing with our nervous system. It, it shouldn't make no sense that we don't think that we clean. That we are washing our bodies three times a day. That's that's ridiculous. You feel me? With with chemicals, it's chemicals in your soap. I know nine times out of the ten, people that live indoors instead of living outdoors. That's not people that's not living a no man um lifestyle. That's not a hippie living a no man lifestyle. That's living indoors and not living outdoors. People living outdoors is more clean than people living indoors, basically. Because as long as your, your body connected with the earth, you clean. You clean. Like, you feel me? As long as you get UVB, vitamin D, sunlight, you clean. You, your body's purified. You, you clean. You pure. Your heart is pure. Your body is pure. Your heart is pure. Pure light. Pure cleanness. Alkaline. You feel me? You live in an alkaline lifestyle. These people are living like peasants and slaves. These people are homeless. When you homeless, you disconnected with the um the earth. You disconnected with the planet. You a virus. You a parasite to the planet. You not. You don't have no immunity. If you had some immunity, you will fight for your rights. With the Bob Marley side said, "Get up, stand up. Get up and fight for your rights." Get up, stand up. Get up and fight for your rights. Fight for your rights. You you you, you got your your you got a right to live on this planet. You are earthling. You got a right to live on this planet. You got a right to live on this planet. Peace and, and harmony, just like the rest of the animals. Why you can't live in peace and harmony like the rest of the animals and the animals are living in peace and harmony on the planet? But you walking on this soil, you you walking on this concrete jungle every motherfucking day for free, but you gotta pay to live for to live on this planet? That's not right. The animals don't have to pay to live on this planet in peace and harmony, but we gotta pay for that shit. Because this planet is prison. Just because you're not physically locked up in prison and you out here, you're still in prison for consciousness. And when you look around you, you see everything is wicked. 
wicked. When you walk in the path of the Messiah, when you walk in the path uh, of the, and you got the Jesus Christ consciousness, you know, it's, it's nowhere really comfortable to lay your head at. But you know, it's wicked everywhere. It's evil going on everywhere. Negative and evilness rules this world. And they hijacked the woman's and the feminine energy aspect of them to do evil things. To be evil. We don't know what is actually a real woman is these days. We really don't know. We really don't know who, what a real woman is. A real woman is a modest woman. A real woman is wife and material. But we really don't know. We just see women that got a vagina and they can get pregnant. That make them a woman. But we don't know the real aspect and the real spirit of a woman. Real aspect and a real spirit of a woman is a modest woman. A woman that protect her crown, her crown chakra, her head. She, she, when she in public, she wrap her head up because she got self-respect for herself. She know her head is not to be exposed. Her, your hair is sacred. Temple is sacred. It should be wrapped up and covered. It should not be uncovered and being exposed to everybody. Did not vibrate on the same frequency vibration that you. And she supposed to wear a garment. She supposed to wear a dress. She don't post to wear the same thing a man supposed to wear. If she wear pants and leggings and jeans, she need to be wearing a dress over it that match her curves. A real woman wears a dress. A real modest. A real woman is a modest woman. That's real. That's what white material is. But we don't know that. We look at all these women shaking their ass, twerking on the internet. You feel me? All this sexual practice, activity, all these gold diggers, all these prostitutes, all these women that's out here working. We look at that like they real women, but no, they not real women. They men. But trained to be women. They, just because they might got the body structure of a woman doesn't mean that they got the spirit of a woman. Got this, got the spirit of a man. A lot of these women are more masculine than feminine. A woman supposed to be more feminine than masculine. And a man supposed to be more masculine than feminine. But the woman don't accept the man when he, in his true masculinity. Because her mind been, been hijacked it to be a weapon against a man when he raised up in power and tapping with his true mass, divine masculinity. You feel me? Like I said, man, um, you're greater than what you are. Your problems are not your problems. Your problems was what the world projected onto you. So when you be like, damn, I don't got enough money for rent. Damn, I'm behind on this. Damn, I'm behind on that. Damn, I don't got this going on. I don't got that going on. Damn, I don't got a car. Damn, I don't got a place. Damn, I don't got a career job. Damn, I went to college four years, graduated, got um, got my uh. Ba my bachelor degree and whatever I got my bachelor degree into, but I still can't get the the career job that I want in my life because those problems are not your problems. Those problems that the world created for you. When you go deeper into yourself and understand who you are on a deep spiritual level, you realize you don't have no problems. I didn't create the world. I didn't create this fucked up world. I didn't create the things that the world had done to people and what the world is doing. That that's stealing from nature and destroying nature and not giving back to nature. I didn't create these problems. My problems that I have in my life is not my problems. These are problems that they projected onto me. When you start realizing that, oh, the world already had the world I, I was born into was already fucked up. It was already messed up, it was already fucked up, and it already had problems. And I'm not here to fix none of the problems. I'm here to fix myself. I'm here to identify my true identity, have reach my higher self with divine knowledge of self, can live in peace and harmony on this planet, and understand that I'm here for I'm here to, to create solutions. That's it, that's all I'm here for. I'm neutral. I'm neutralized. I'm just here to, 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 to find solutions. To prevent myself from 
from being part of this world and being part of these problems that's with the world. You here to become a problem solver. You here to be a problem solver. You here to be the solution, not the problem. People that's not connected with their higher self, people that don't have divine knowledge and stuff, and people that's not applying, applying divine knowledge and stuff to their life in a way of combination, wherever they working or wherever they making money whatsoever, if you still can apply this knowledge to your life, apply the information to your life, and teach the information and present this information to people so people can be, so you can help people help heal themselves because everybody else don't have the answers, then you are the problem, you are the virus, you are the parasite. And you are the human experience. Once you raise your vibration, once you reach your higher self and you realize your problem is not your problems, your problems were problems that was projected onto you, now you know for a fact that you're not a human experience no more. You tapped in with your godlyhood. And you now you walk in that path of your godlyhood. And you find your true purpose now. And since you find your true purpose, that's all that matters. Nothing else truly matters but that. But that. And he that endures to the end will be saved. And just because you got to spiritually awaken, just because you find divine knowledge and stuff, and just because you apply this knowledge for a certain amount of time doesn't mean that you can go back to sleep again and don't give a fuck about your true purpose because a lot of people, a lot of people betray the, themselves on a journey, on a purpose. A lot of people went back to sleep again because when they got put under pressure, they fold. They created problems in life and they projected on you because they want you to fold under pressure. It's an obstacle course. Your opposition defines you. You won't know who you are while opposition. So understand that. And this earth plane, in the spiritual realm, it's immortality. You can impregnate yourself. You can masturbate and, 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 bring, and bring a child to life while going through a woman. You can do magical things in the spiritual realm. You can be a man and a woman on your own. If you're a man, you can manifest yourself to be a woman and a man. And you can create and, and get impregnate yourself and give birth to children without going through a woman. Because that's how it was in the golden age. A tomb, the first beings was male and female. This was wrong with the problem. That, this is wrong with the word today. Separation. They separate the man. They split the atom and created man and woman. Instead of it just being one species male and female in one body they the atom has split a tomb has split himself into two different beings to to um experience itself subjectively subjectively everything is subjectively everything is based on personal feelings and emotions you got to control that you got to have self-control you have self-control then you got to then you start finding solutions to to all these problems going on where you realize you don't have no problems when you have self-control divine knowledge itself is self-control a lot of us don't have self-control a lot of us are all over the place trying to go through other people's they're trying to find ourselves they're trying to figure out what the fuck going on with yourself but you don't understand that you your own problem. It's you versus you. It's me versus it's me versus me. It's your mind versus your mind. When you keep pointing the fingers, you miss the meshes. You miss the meshes. When you keep pointing the fingers, you miss the point. Throughout the situation, you would never solve the situation. You would never come up to a a standing point or or stand ground and find some type of solution or something to what's actually going on with yourself and your reality. If you keep on point fingers, you will never get your point across. Your problems are not your problems. You don't have problems. Your problems was created by the world subjectively. You gotta be logical and critical thinkers right now.
to solve these problems and come up with solutions to these problems to understand that you never did have no problems. Your problems was hijacked into your neurons to produce your dopamine. And then you start projecting or sub um um then you start projecting your subconscious mind into the universe and telling yourself that I got problems. I don't have this, I don't have that. They make you don't have everything you need right now. You still breathing, so you have everything that you need. Peace and love from my mouth, gang. I love myself. Peace free. Peace.